Hey there, it's Andrew with ADS. Okay, I'm here to tell you about a conference that you must be at in January. You must be there in January 2020 and you must be there again in June 2020. All in Buckhead, all in Atlanta. It's called Traffic Sales and Profit. And if you are an entrepreneur, you absolutely need to be in this space. You missed it this month. However, I'm gonna tell you what you missed and then make sure you're there in June. Early bird tickets are about to hit. Don't say I didn't tell you. Hey there, it's Andrew with ADS, and I'm so excited to bring you this special edition of a review, a recap of the very best highlights from TSP Live 2019, which is Traffic Sales and Profit. So as you know, I'm Andrea with the ADS agency that's here to bring you the very best in marketing and branding tips, as well as business tips for those of you who are entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and personal branders. So thanks so much for being here. Totally appreciate you as always. And so TSP, Traffic Sales and Profit, I wanted to bring this to you specifically so you're aware of this excellent, truly, truly excellent event that goes on in Atlanta. So far, it's been in Atlanta from my understanding. Uh, I think this was its fourth year. And so it happens every year, TSP Live in June. In January, they're gonna do another edition of this in Buckhead again at the Westin. And that is gonna be like your game plan for the year, your strategy, your planning session. Honestly, I, I would do my planning before January, but I think that's a great time to like collaborate with people on what you've already planned for the year. So that's happening in January. And then you also have what's happening in June, again, next year in 2020, big year. All right, so Traffic Sales and Profit, that's a big conference. It's exclusively for black entrepreneurs, black business owners, so as they say, for us, by us. Um, however, black or not, you still have some great takeaways from this event, and I wanna share those with you. So I'm gonna go through kind of the star players, the speakers that I heard, and some of which I will be covering in subsequent videos, so I'll let you know about that. I'm gonna go over my top 10 takeaways. We'll also throw in a mix of some people who I chatted with, um, somebody who's a newbie at the event, somebody who's been there for quite some time, for every year, and we'll also talk with the Coach P, Miss Coach P, who is Miss Precious Bivings, I know from Greenville, South Carolina. And uh, she was just a phenomenal firecracker of an MC for that whole entire event. So she's gonna be on and that's it. I think it'll give you a nice feel, overview of what this was like. Also show you a couple shots of the branding cause I love event branding. So I have to show that to you. All right, so let's go. Okay, so quickly I'm gonna run through the lineup of speakers that we had at Traffic Sales and Profit, just so you're aware, as well as don't forget, I'm gonna definitely be doing a video specifically for just branding and logistics of this thing, because I think it's important to go through. So besides that, Janice Bryant Halroyd, I say Halroyd, I think I heard her say Halroyd at another conference, somebody said Howard, and I was like, is that right? Because her last name phonetically says Halroyd. But you never know, people I mean, people have all kinds of pronunciations. In any case, Janice Bryant Halroyd, um, best tip I got from her. This is the best quote that I will keep with me forever. I put this on my sticky note board and it is, I am an excellent steward of my clients. I'm an excellent steward of my clients. This is a woman. Who, this is a woman who is essentially a billionaire. She has, she's the first black female owner of a billionaire company, of a billion-dollar company, uh, and so she's like number two next to Oprah. Uh, and she, her biggest takeaway that I got from her was that she's an excellent steward of her clients. She goes above and beyond what the contract says. Uh, to ensure that her clients are more than satisfied, they're delighted. 
um, which is just so good to hear. It was good to hear in that space. I've not heard anyone wealthy say that in quite some time and definitely not in that way. And so now that made it up on my, on my board that is right by my desk. Super love that. Sharia Jackson from bossbride.com had PR tips. I will definitely be doing a video off of that. Leverage the light, leverage the light. So you get some pay, some earned media and you've got some PR going. Leverage the light, that's what Sharia says. Cheris Jones, Sassy Jones, best tip I got from her. People love exclusivity. She's a jewelry chick. She does sparkle parties live on Facebook and otherwise excellent reward programs and all that happening. She says people love exclusivity. That's somebody who is in the seven figure club with her business with jewelry, just like my sister, Charlie rocks. Um, very awesome. I told her all about that. I was like, girl, you could be a millionaire and check that out, girl. All right. So that's Sassy Jones, uh, Jamal Miller of Miller media group, all people with fantastic stories. Ex of course, excellent stories to be in the positions that they are in. With him, we'll be covering the architecture of a challenge. Again, these are all videos that are going to be happening in subsequent weeks. So look out for those. Jamal Miller, the architecture of a challenge. So we'll break down his tips for a challenge. Lamar Tyler was up quite a few times. Of course, it's his event. Um, so he talks about online sales mastery. Uh, with him, we'll talk about six components of an irresistible offer. Stephanie Rollins enlightened the entire room about Pinterest, the entire room about Pinterest. Who knew? Um, she has been the marketing manager for black and married with kids.com, which was the site that launched what is now traffic sales and profit. Um, so she's been over that and is a big believer in the organic traffic of Pinterest. So she's made me intrigued in it as well as the entire room again, um, you know, for marketing purposes. So we'll have a look at that. Um, again, not in this video, other videos coming up. Kim Coles talks about the power of story. Of course, we are a believer in the power of story here at ADS. So, um, we'll share some of her best tips from that. Number one tip takeaway for you today from her, you show up doing you and you'll win. She had a great story about this. Show up doing you and you'll win. I love her story about that. We'll talk about that later too. Janice Ryan Haroy says, never chase the money. Let the money chase you. Truth be told, if you're doing something fantastically that you'll love, that totally works. And Tommy Powers absolutely must cover him. He was all about video marketing and YouTube ads. So a new space. People don't often talk about that space, um, especially for small businesses. So I want to cover that too. So those are all the speakers and lineups, their best tips and everything I want to bring to you in our future videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. Aside from that, I also want to show you a couple of these takeaways from the ladies who were here at this event. I had no guys to be interviewed. They weren't around when I was doing this. However, fantastic ladies who I want you to listen to now. One has been here at this conference for quite some time every year. One is a newbie, a first timer like me, and another is Coach P, Precious Bivings, who was the host MC for this entire event full of energy, full of all of that for this event. She was fantastic. Of course, everybody loves Coach P. So those are my three quick interviews we're gonna show you next. And after that, we'll be back to go through top 10 takeaways from TSP. All right, see you in just a minute. Gina, good to meet you. And are you in Atlanta or otherwise? I'm in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Awesome, awesome. First year or no? This is my second year at uh, Traffic Sales and Profit. I came in 2017, but I've known the Tylers, gosh, since 2008. Wow, yeah, wow, wow, wow. Awesome. And so what do you think you got out of this conference so far? Well, I, um, 
I got clarity, which is always nice. And then also for those of us who work in, um, I still work a full-time job, yeah. but I just got, I get filled up. I get yes. to see people that I haven't seen for a while. So I get to connect, I get to meet new people. I get to see what's the latest and learn from people who are doing the things I want to do. So for me, this is more spiritual revival <laughs> and, nice. I, and get fresh ideas. But I can tell you like day one, I met a lady um, in the elevator after registration and she, I asked her what she did or where she lived or something like that. She's like, I live in Mexico. And I was like, oh, well you should come to dinner because I'm going to dinner with some folks. And like in the lobby, she just, because one of my struggles is procrastination. And in the mm -hmm. lobby, she just mm -hmm. randomly said, procrastination is a trauma response. And I was like, what? And so Interesting. Just, yeah, blew my mind. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, you look for nuggets. And so that's, uh, you get inspiration. And then the, la the session I just came out of was, Great nuts. And Amazing. Bolts. Yeah. Amazing. I wonder if he's a Pat Flynn fan. I don't know if you've heard of Pat Flynn. Yeah, I have. I yeah, because so you mentioned him and I was like, I'm a Pat Flynn follower too. So. Okay, yeah, he probably does. But yeah, yeah, that was a great nuts and bolts session. So it looks like today is going to be more nuts and bolts. Uh, which I'm excited about. So, Absolutely. Yes. Um, well, we're excited about that too. Thanks so much for joining us. All, All right. right. See, see ya. Me. Yeah, good to meet you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here with Miss Tara Rice. Tara, where are you from? I'm from actually Columbia, South Carolina. I've been living in Atlanta for five years now. Columbia, I've been here three and a half years. Okay. I was in Scotland for a year before, but in Columbia for a year before that. Okay, great. And then uh, a little bit grew up in Irma, you probably know. Yeah. All about Irma. <laughs> South Carolina, right. South, South Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> You're not Gamecock, are you? You're not Gamecock, are you? Gamecock, yes. Oh, I'm a tiger. <laughs> I got it. Do you know, it's all Carolina love. So. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> awesome, Tara. So is it your first year here or what? This is my first year at TSP, and it's just been absolutely phenomenal so far. We're on day two, so I'm excited. I'm geared up. I'm motivated and ready to take action. Likewise, yes. likewise, my first year too. So um, tell us about your business and what do you do real quick? I actually do a couple of different things. I do credit restoration, mm. I do real estate, but I also recently launched a product, which okay. is really why I'm, why I'm here. Mm -hmm. um, my product is a organic feminine product line. Okay. And um, it will consist of pills to eliminate female issues like bacteria vaginosis, yeast infections, UTIs, it's a suppository. And along in that, uh, within that brand, which is called Fresh Balance. Um, I saw you on Instagram. You're great, that's so yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's great. right. And um, it will consist of wipes, sprays, and wash. Um, and then I'll launch the organic tampons and organic pads. Um, so this is just kind of a vision that I had because I've had some, you know, we as women, we have feminine issues right. and I went to the doctor so many times after going back and forth and not getting the results I needed mm -hmm. I said okay I gotta figure this out because it's it's a problem yeah that's very uncomfortable and very kind of it's it's a big problem yeah. that just you don't want to have as a female and we go through it we all go through it as females and then another thing that I realized in doing my research for a very long time is that so many women have these issues not only here in the United States but in third world countries so my mission mm -hmm. is to be able to make enough money in my company where I can actually donate products to third world countries like Africa and um, also along with that pads and tampons because those girls miss school they do they miss school they miss yeah. out on education just because they have no feminine products so that's my yeah. mission is to and they're ostracized that whole time i saw a documentary all about that yeah, yeah. they'd like so that's my yeah. mission i'm so passionate about it because i just feel like oh my god we're so fortunate yeah, so and fortunate. you don't think about how yeah. how like just a simple crazy that is. Or pad would help a girl be able to stay in school and get her education. Exactly, so. and change her life and change her right. community and her everything. So my mission everything. is to help at least in that way. That's my gift back. That's my gift to the world. I love that. But well, tell me something like one of the best little nuggets you got from the conference so far. Oh my God, I got so many um, sales, traffic, profit, Facebook ads, campaigns, how to launch. I've just learned so much and I'm geared up and ready to take action. So this has been um, probably probably one of the best conferences I've been to, to in regards to 
really generating revenue and getting people engaged and getting people ready to buy your product and being engaged with you and building a community around your product. Exactly. So yes, it's very product focused. Yes. Very pro Tell us how to find you on Instagram or otherwise. Fresh Balance um, on Instagram and Facebook, but it's P H R E S H Balance, B A L A N C. Fresh Balance. Fresh, keep and it fresh. Freshbalance.com is my website. Also, PH, obviously. PH. Love it. Thank, Thank you. you. So good to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Bye, you guys. Bye. Good, you look fabulous, of course. Thank you. <laughs> so do you, as always. Thank you. So I'm here with the Miss Coach P. Hello, hello. Miss Precious Vivi. Yes. And so um, she's been the marvelous, fantastic. Mm. Amazing host for this event, Traffic Sales of Profit. Yes. And I'm so proud of her and so amazed yeah. to see her here. Um, and just quickly, you know, give us your own fun take from, because I know you've been involved with this since the beginning yeah. with Traffic Sales of Profit yeah. uh, as an event. Yeah. But what do you feel is like the most, the biggest thing you look forward to come to this event every year? Man, for me, it's being able to be in a room um, and in, in a curated, intentionally curated and created environment for us by us. Um, a lot of the talk every year as we've built um, and, and increased the number from 40 people in the room now to over 600 and just this is our fourth traffic sales and profit is that um, with the regular tech conferences and stuff like that, it doesn't cater to who we are, our personality. So um, it was said this morning, a lot of the attendees are like, hey, listen, we get to be unapologetically black, educated, excellent uh, woman. And, and, and so being able to see that, plus the growth of the businesses. Over the last four events, we've seen businesses come in, people who just had ideas and turn those ideas into actual revenue businesses, profitable revenue businesses. So that's been a huge difference maker. Um, and then the other part is being able to see the community grow. Like mm -hmm. whatever you need is in the room. So if you need somebody to write copy, it's in the room. If you need somebody in sales copy, if you need somebody to help with Facebook ads, it's in the room. If you mm -hmm. need Instagram, Pinterest, whatever, everything is here. And so I look forward to that each year. It's amazing. I think yeah. it is amazing. It's my first year, as you know, and oh, yeah. um, I just heard just the best reviews mm. about it. And it's very encouraging to hear about the stories of people's businesses yeah. um, growing year after year. So that's a cool perspective I haven't heard yet. So, yeah. Miss Coach P, tell them how to find you. Everywhere on Instagram, uh, Facebook. I'm Hello Coach P everywhere. I would love to connect with you guys. Um, what I get to do is mindset performance coaching, which is to help you perform better in your personal and your business life. We eliminate all of those blocks, excuses, anything that you want to do um, that involves you being successful and really reaching your potential um, at this level, because every level has its own potential, um, is for you to be able to really shift the way that you see things. You got to shift your perspective um, because your perspective determines your opportunities. I look forward to connecting with you guys. Thank you so much, my yes, love. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you Appreciate thank you. you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and so that's all of my attendee feedback for you. Hope you enjoyed that. As you can see, everyone enjoyed this event, had a great time with it. I definitely did. And we learned a lot, not just had fun, but also learned a lot. So top 10 takeaways, I'm gonna run through this so quick for you, uh, but I think they're really important and I want you to hear them because I think they're great takeaways and I hope they help you in your journey this week and beyond. So first are two, these were not quotes, but these were two overarching themes that I noticed in the conference. First, and I have a whole video specifically about this because I believe in this so much. Number one, done is better than perfect all day. Thank you, Lamar Tyler and others for also being extreme advocates of that too, because that is the ADS motto all day. Done is better than perfect, honey. Get it done. Uh, number two, it's all about relationships. For certain, all about relationships with your customers, with your vendors, with your employees. Did you ever get any? Um, relationships do matter and you're networking because those are the keys to connecting you to your next level, right? So all about relationships, two overarching themes from this conference. All right. So that's number one. Number two, I know that was two for one. Number two, do your actions equal your expectations about your business? 
do your actions equal the expectations about your business? So that's quite critical, right? Because if we are up here with, you know, expecting to be a millionaire, but we don't have millionaire actions to go along with it, what are we doing in our business, right? So do our actions equal our expectations? I thought that was great. Number three, you have to have a connection to your perfect customer. You have to have a connection to your perfect customer. Lamar Tyler said that. Makes sense. Number four, the conversation is different when you're sitting with winners. Plenty of winners in that space. Uh, they had a mastermind group. Of course, you have to pay into a mastermind. We can go over that if you have questions about that. But uh, they had a mastermind group and I promise you it was about a group of 56 people, I want to say, who on average, when you average out the total, um, it was roughly 400K on average per business. But I mean, that's across a broad spectrum. So you had a slew of people in the six figure club. So, you know, your business grows to six figures. They recognize all those people. Then they had, um, you know, the seven figure circle and all that. So basically on up to your millionaires. Uh, so I thought that was great to recognize all those people who have done excellently in their business. Um, and so the fact that they're talking about the conversation is different when you're sitting with winners. If you're sitting in a room with Janice Bryant Howroyd, who is marvelously, marvelously fantastic and yet still humble, but also so comfortable in her own skin and has just made incredible strides on her own in her own business over all these years, quietly, seemingly quietly, you know, no one would have known her for quite some time, except for those in her circles until she became known as the first black billionaire owner. The conversation is different when you're sitting with people like that in the room. Number five, you're not stuck. You're just committed to a pattern that no longer serves you. Mm, yeah, maybe you are just in a pattern that doesn't serve you. So, you know, you might have to shake things up, shake it up. Uh, number six, data driven decisions will make you unstoppable. Tommy Powers, who did the video YouTube ad um, workshop, absolutely all about that. Data driven decisions will make you unstoppable. Not only will it change the game for you, a lot of people do make decisions based off of emotions or what they want to do or what they think they should do. Data driven decisions changes the game. As Tommy says, it will make you unstoppable. So I thought that was great. A great, great point they brought up in this conference. Number seven, do what is necessary to have supreme confidence in your business. That's nothing anybody said, but me, I think that is a theme of all of this. Do what you have to, to have supreme confidence in your business. So if you know the things that you are lacking in the areas you're weak in, the areas you need to fix, um, do work on those things so you can have that supreme, bold confidence in your business. Number eight, consider who you were put on this earth to serve. Who are you meant to serve in your business? Uh, I thought that was great because we're all serving somebody in our businesses. So I thought that was excellent. Uh, number nine, I have everything I need to be everything I need to be. Janice Bryan Howard. Um, I have everything I need to be everything I need to be. And that's just more of an affirmation to tell yourself. She had the whole room stand up, you know, and I, which I thought was great of her, had the whole room stand up to say that um, out loud. Basically saying, you do have everything within you. You have everything at your disposal. You have everything within you to access, you can access it, uh, to be your own version of Janice Bryant Howard in your life. You know, the highest pinnacle of who you were designed to be. Do you have that inside of you already? Is all, are all the tools there? Is everything that you need there? It is, you can access it 
It doesn't mean we don't still have to grow. It doesn't mean we don't have a whole lot still to learn, but do we have the capacity right now to begin that journey and to continue and to reach those heights and better? Absolutely. And if you think Janice Bryant Howard is stopping where she is, you have another thing coming. That woman is still on fire at age 66 or however, don't quote me on her age, but she's definitely in her 60s, I'm pretty certain. Okay, to talk to her, she's like, I am a millennial, honey. She's like, check my blonde wig. She was like, this hair will be red tonight in LA. <laughs> and I was like, go girl. She was serious about that red wig. She was serious about it. She was like, this hair will be red tonight. <laughs> uh, she's so cute. All right. She's fantastic. Number 10, top 10, my final number 10 thing I thought was so great in this conference and i leave it last on purpose is that this is another thing from janice bryant howard she says i live in gratitude i begin and finish in gratitude her day begins and ends in gratitude like that was made for me to hear because as you may know that those of you who watch my channel all the time know my word for the year is grateful and so I've been keeping a grateful journal all year long um I write in it at night so at the end of the night end of the day before I go to bed no matter how tired I am I pause and write at least a minimum of three things that I'm specifically grateful for that day and um to hear her say that as wealthy as she is, um, with all the millions that she has at her disposal, is just fantastic. It's so humbling to hear that she still takes time for gratitude in her life, which lets you know it is not all about money. It's not all about money. Um, but the fact that she has all that money and still at the end of the day is like, I have gratefulness. I have so much to be grateful for. Let me count my blessings is amazing. That's good. That's solid. I love that so much. So I officially want to be like her when I grow up in my business. <laughs> All right. So, um, and I have plenty of action items personally from this. I will not go through all eight of them. There's eight major action items I have, but the first and the one that I'll share with you today, um, it's actually something Lamar Tyler recommended, which is celebrating small victories. Um, he mentioned how it's important to celebrate small victories at the end of the year. Um, I'm saying I'm going to do that at the end of each quarter. So I'm a little bit overdue for swapping out my Kanban board. Those of you who watch this channel again know about um, my Kanban boards, which change out every 90 days. And it's for helping you achieve goals 90 days at a time which I think is fantastic. So uh, because he made such an emphasis of that at one point in the conference, um, I specifically wrote that down and I was like, you know what? I love that. And what I'm going to do is do small little celebrations of accomplishments, little big wins, all that major milestones, things I learned that were great, all that. And I'm going to celebrate those end of each quarter as I'm redoing these common boards. So that's perfect timing because I'm about to redo mine now. <laughs> um, so as I do that, I can share with you wins and all that kind of stuff. All right. So that's all I've got for you today. TSP Live 2019. It was awesome. I loved meeting all of you. Those of you who were watching this that were there with us. Um, it was awesome to meet you all. Awesome to be in the mix. Um, I thought the entire thing was done with absolute excellence and the networking was great. I wish I could um, be prepared. We'll do, we'll go through this another time, but I was not ready for the length of these, uh, days. Cause they went from like 8 AM to 10 PM plus, and people were hanging out afterwards. They had hotel rooms. I live here in Atlanta. So I'm like, Hey, entrepreneur is saving money and going home. <laughs> so the days were long. Again, not prepared, not prepared. I was not prepared for 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. I shows you my age, I guess. I don't know. I can't do that. 
every night I was like, oh dear Jesus, help me. At least at night number two, I did have a glass of wine. That little bit made me feel like I was somewhat at home and relaxed, even though I still had to drive home 20 minutes after that. But, you know, let me not complain. Jesus, it was a great time. I enjoyed myself. I had a great time. I enjoyed meeting everyone. And don't forget to come back here on either if you're listening to this on podcast or here on YouTube. Uh, come back here for all the subsequent tips because I took plenty copious notes and I can't wait to share them with you. So that will be here, um, right here on ADS YouTube. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. We are everywhere at The ADS Agency. That's T-H-E-A-D-S Agency. We'd love for you to follow us and, and we'd love to follow you back. And also, be sure to subscribe wherever you are listening to this, whether on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Play, wherever you are listening to this, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're here on YouTube, that button is in this area it's down below okay so just click subscribe and after you click subscribe click subscribe be sure to click the little bell because that's how you're gonna get notifications about these videos if you don't click the bell you will not get notifications I promise you you will like never see these videos ever again so make sure to click the bell please and that's how you're gonna see us again because I would miss you otherwise right all right, so that's it for today. Thanks for being here. What questions do you have? Let me know below. Uh, what topics that I listed out are you interested in? I have plenty I'm interested in. All of them is why I have to bring it to you. All right, I'm done for real. Cheers, have a good night or morning, whenever you're watching this. Mwah.